Hey sports fans, Coach Nick here and welcome to our weekly coverage of the Basketball Champions League. As we move towards the postseason, the top 8 teams are already in the playoffs and the teams ranked 9th through 24th now battle in a home and away format to pick the 8 teams that fill out the rest of the playoff bracket. Winning these games is nice, but to advance, you have to outscore your opponent across both games, so we'll see these teams getting up as many shots as possible. Today we've got a grudge match between Greece and Serbia as Pauk met up with Partizan in this thriller from Pauk Sports Arena. Partizan got some fundamental offense going by entering into the low post. The passer's man naturally turns his head, allowing the flare screen to be set, the rotation was too slow, and Andrić nails the three. Pauk came down in the second and runs pinch post action. Normally, this is a dribble handoff to the guard, but that is McFadden doesn't need it as he turns the corner and gets a beauty of a two-footed floater off the glass. A poorly planned isolation into the teeth of the defense creates a fast break for Pauk and give Marinkovic credit for the hustle, but also put him on the Chrysokopoulos poster. Into the third, Partisan runs Hatcher off of two ball screens. Keith Clanton is slow stepping up the contest and gets a three ball splashed in his face. Here's a great hedge of the pick and roll by Koprovica, turning the ball handler back where he came from. But watch this clever action as Clanton flows from the ball screen to a pin down. Great read by Sibbert to back door, great pass by McFadden and a great finish at the rim. Here's an example of not so great pick and roll defense as Margaritas closes out and leaves his feet. This allows middle penetration, Clanton has to rotate up to stop the ball, and Peters was way too late sliding over, giving up the big dunk to Lukovic. Clinging to a one point lead, Partizan puts the ball in Hatcher's hands to create something. Watch out Soklas helps one pass away, even though his teammate was in good position. The big no-no allows a wide open three, and Partizan extends the lead. With a four point lead, Hatcher takes matters into his own hands as he dances around defenders until he can find a tiny bit of space to fade away from 18 and it swishes clean through. With the game seemingly over, Pauk gets crazy as McFadden picks up the loose ball and just fires this three ball up on the break for a clean swish. When they get the ball back, he pulls up off the dribble from the same spot and knocks down another one. And down by three, he can't find the third one after being defended very well, but the long rebound comes right back out to Sibbert, and this one was oh so close. Remember, this is about scoring the most points, so Partisan races back down for the layup and the win. Stay tuned next week as we'll break down even more highlights from some of the most exciting basketball Europe has to offer. The Basketball Champions League.